I'm going to show you guys how to manage your vendor payments, get reminders, and how to add new payments and edit existing payment reminders in this video. So for example, let's say that we've booked Ashley and we have a couple payment installations due to her before the wedding day. So we're going to add a new payment. So let's say that we paid a deposit of $500 to lock her in. So we'll say that we've already paid that. And then we have an upcoming payment of $1,000. And let's say that's due next year. And we'll add another, the final payment of, uh, let's say, $500. And that payment is going to be due right before our wedding date. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now we can see that we've got two upcoming payments to Ashley. So now when you use this drop down menu and go to payments, you'll be able to see that here's Ashley and we've got $500 that we've already paid to her. So that's not due anymore. Um, we have a total of, so the total invoice was $2,000 for this particular vendor. We've got $1,500 still due to her and we've paid $500 so far. So if you ever needed to go back and mark a payment as paid, you can go from here and click this. Um, Click the entry right here and put a paid on date, which will show that we've actually paid that amount. If we ever need to delete a payment, we just need to click on a particular line and delete it. Or we can even go back to our vendors and go back to payments and remove a payment from this section as well. So there's two ways of doing it. If we ever needed to, let's say, bulk select any of the lines and delete it all or make any changes, we can just check these checkboxes, click the edit items button, and we get this showing up where we can change the vendor if we made a mistake and gave, um, added these invoices to the wrong vendor, or we need to change the due date for any, any particular line item, change the paid on date or anything like that, we can do bulk editing that way.